Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are feeling well this morning. Um, this is going to be a general reading, general energy reading for the weekend. This is your weekend edition, yes. So it's going to be for today, which is Friday, November 2nd, through Sunday, November 4th. Yes. Um, welcome to November. I hope you guys had a good day yesterday. Um, I don't know. The energies felt okay yesterday. Things were a little better. I don't know, for me personally. <laughs> I'm speaking personally here. Um, some of you are still, you know, purging, going through a lot, and that's okay. That's going to happen. You know, this is part of the healing process. Yeah? Okay, so this is a general reading. It's all signs. Um, it's not love specific. It's not career specific. It's just whatever spirit wants to talk about today. Um, keep in mind that, uh, you know, these messages are not time specific. So even though they're coming out today, that doesn't mean they have to resonate today. They could resonate, I don't know, Monday, especially since, you know, this is our weekend edition. This could resonate next week. Who knows? But, um... Either way, just take it in. If it doesn't resonate, please don't make it fit. Um, yeah, and maybe check back later. Okay? Excellent. So, let's get to it, guys. All right. Weekend edition. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend here. So this would be for November 4th through, I'm sorry, November 2nd through the 4th. Thank you so much, Spirit. So, uh, I'm seeing yellow first, is the first thing I see, yellow. Um, and then as I go a little bit deeper, I see green. So this, I'm taking, this is a, there's a few different things I'm getting from this. Um, one is that, you know, there's really a drive. Um, willpower is really at play here. Um, I'm hearing passion and commitment. Um, for some of you, this yellow is the drive to, you know, accomplish, to achieve your goals. This could be career, mostly. It feels like career. Um, and then with the green, you know, this is you going after what is, what is like, like truly fulfilling for you. Um, or you could be in the process of engaging in some sort of activity that's very very fulfilling for you, or at least you're hoping will be fulfilling, um, or at the same time, you are moving in a direction towards your ultimate fulfillment. Um, I'm really getting a lot of career right now. Uh, many of us, I know I am, but like many of us are really focused on our career, our, pen, our, our pentacles, but <laughs> our, um, our money, our finances. Um, <laughs> and I'm also getting that a lot of this has to do with the holiday season because, you know, people tend, there are a lot of people that just like go crazy when it comes to presents and stuff. So, so there's, there might be some people out there that are really working hard <laughs> to save up money or, um, you know, put something away in order to really go all out this year. There might be an energy of um, really wanting to treat yourself this year if it's been <laughs> if it's been a rough one, um, and you wanna you wanna really like celebrate, you know, with the holiday season this year. That's not so bad. I would just caution. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Do you? <laughs> Do you? Um, I'm gonna get one more shuffle here. Yeah, but there is some serious drive. There is some serious drive here. Because this yellow energy is like, is like all up in my face. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, let's see what we've got for, to, for this weekend. Yeah, so um, because this is the weekend edition, I am going to do like two pulls. 
you know, just to cover because it's a three day span. So we're just going to cover and see what we've got going on here. Ooh. Okay, well, we've got the Nine of Cups so far. All right, we're going to stop there. The Hanged One or the Hanged Man is underneath the deck. Uh, this did come out yesterday, didn't it? Maybe it didn't. I get my days confused, but it came out this week. I know that. So this is a recurring message here. Um, there are some of us that are kind of feeling like you're suspended or you're in limbo right now. Um, I'm going to say that this is probably not the best time to make any sort of real decisions. Okay. There's, I feel like there's a process, especially since we have temperance here and temperance has been coming out quite a bit lately. Um, but we have a balancing act happening. I want to, this is, that's crowning the reading here. Um, there's definitely a balancing act going on right now. We have the nine of cups with the 10 of swords. Woof. Okay. So there are def there's definitely some endings that are happening here. All right. Um, but what I'm getting with this is that these endings are leading to wish fulfillment is what I just heard. Fulfillment. Okay. We have the two of pentacles, the five of wands, the knight of swords, and the two of cups. All right. How do I want to lay this out here? Okay. So... And this is why, and this is why, uh, I guess I kind of want to say that this has a lot to do with Venus in retrograde still because of the hanged man or the hanged one, um, which is underneath the deck, okay? Uh, there's still, there's still some endings happening here. I feel like with the nine of cups and the ten of swords... There was a situation in which someone felt like <clears throat> their wishes were being fulfilled, their wishes were being granted, um, and yet turns out that it wasn't in a way with the Ten of Swords. Um, but also at the same time, wishes are being fulfilled through the ending of a situation. With the Ten of Swords here, and, and the key word in this deck is finality. Um, so the, the worst, basically the worst is behind you. Okay. So it's not like, it's not like something is being, um, rehashed, drummed up again. Um, and I really feel like wishes are being fulfilled in the process now, but there is still some conflict here. There's still some differing of opinion. Um, rivalry is the key word on this deck for the five of wands and then you have the two of pentacles so I, i'm getting an energy of just like there's probably some confusion just a differing of opinion um <clears throat> maybe there may be some competition in your life um but <laughs> but if there is competition i really feel like a lot of this is inner conflict okay with the five of wands and then with the two of pentacles um this is the energy of trying to balance out balance Keep things in balance in the physical realm, in the world. Um, and it's funny because this is where, like with the Two of Pentacles here and the Five of Wands, this is kind of where I'm getting this drive. So like if you're, if you're some, there's might be some people out there that are really trying to um, keep the balance. Um, you might be kind of drowning yourself in work. I don't know. It, that's really interesting because it's not like the official cards there of that but that's what i'm feeling with the five of wands and the two of pentacles it's like someone is conflicted about something might be really confused about something doesn't really know where to go where they stand um may not be giving a decisive offer or i'm sorry a decisive you know answer And it's trying to keep the balance. And it's really, I feel like some, there are some of us that are out here really just trying to focus on work in order to kind of escape a little bit, like a, a bit of escapism. And then we have the Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Okay. There's relationship energy here. Um, in this deck, the Knight of Swords symbolizes Gemini. Um, so you might be dealing with a Gemini. There's communication that's wanting to be had here. 
sorry guys, there's a another, I waited, I tried to wait for all the garbage trucks to go by, and now this is the third one. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, okay, so... There's an energy of just want, wanting communication, needing communication. It's just that the Knight of Swords energy can be, well, swift communication. It doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be mean. But sometimes, a lot of times, it's, it's a, it can be kind of destructive. But in this case, it doesn't really feel that way. It just feels like... Um, Fast communication, fast communication. I'm also getting a quick, something about this is really quick. It's um, a quick union, quickly coming together. Maybe something moving a little too fast, uh, but I really wanna clarify that because that's, that's pretty vague energy that I'm feeling with this one. It's, it's it's mainly about communication, but what about the communication is iffy. We'll see. We'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, I do want to clarify that. So let's, we'll, we'll get to that now, actually. We're not going to do it in a second. We're going to do it right now. <laughs> All right, let me give, you, give me a second here. Let me just shuffle. Oh, um, I'm trying to speak a little louder. I know a lot of people are having trouble hearing me. I did watch yesterday's video back and I was like, and I did realize that, you know, I, I could barely hear me. Um, but this, I do record these readings very early in the morning and I do have roommates and neighbors. So I try not to be too loud, but I'm going to be a little bit mindful. I've been working on like trying to get like a microphone or something for some time now. I just, you know, haven't gotten around to it. I've been super busy, but I'm going to try and do my best. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, yeah. I do, I want to clarify the Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords here. So let's, let's see what we get. Ooh. Okay. Ah, we've got the Hierophant. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles. Ah, and we got the King of Swords. All right, so underneath the deck is the King of Swords. Okay. And, um, so here's the deal. Someone's trying to communicate with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups, or at least someone wants to communicate. Um, but there's an energy here of, with the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles in reverse, someone doesn't really want to give to a certain situation, but this is because of the status quo, okay? This is like societal views. This is, um, I'm hearing literally, I'm with, and with the King of Swords also is underneath the deck. This is someone that's being strictly purely logical. Okay. And I'm hearing what would my friends think or what would, what would society think? Or even what would my mother think? Um, that is the blockage here. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a shame, to be honest. I mean, if there's a connection between some people, like if you have a connection with someone and it's being blocked because of society and their views and society's opinion, that is, in my opinion, this is totally in my opinion, obviously. Um, but like in terms of love, you know, what other people would think about the situation is no reason to is no reason to block the situation. Oh, wow. Okay. And like now the rest of the reading is starting to make a little more sense here with the nine of cups and the 10 of swords. Um, there's a feeling of, you know, there was some sort of wish fulfillment here, but it's almost like it feels, it feels like it's coming to a Ten of Swords situation because of this, this energy with the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. But it's not, it's not, it hasn't, I mean, it, it hasn't gotten to that point yet. 
You know what I mean? It, there is an ending that has happened here. An ending in the Ten of Swords energy, I really feel like is from the past, okay? So again, what I said originally about the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment is being brought in because something has come to an end. That's still happening. But there's confusion here with the Five of Wands. There's conflict. There's competition. Differing opinion. The Five of Wands, for me, the Five of Wands is like the peanut gallery card for me. This is like all a bunch of, this is like a bunch of other people uh, having their putting their opinions in and influencing the situation and someone is really trying to juggle here with the two of pentacles it's like i'm feeling i see like you know differing opinion a bunch of different people like a ton of a shit ton of different cooks in the kitchen trying to stir the pot here trying to put their two cents in when in reality all that matters is the opinion of the two people here that are connecting with each other with the two of cups okay I want to get some more clarifiers. Now, the, the best, the, the, this feels weird. This kind of feels undesirable, right? But then you have temperance at the crowning the reading and the hanged one or the hanged man at the top of the, uh, underneath the deck, okay? So ultimately, the universe has your back. The universe is on your side here. Um, the, someone is... I, I want to feel like I lit I just heard dark night of the soul. Someone might be going through a dark night of the soul situation, but what I'm really getting here is someone's going through a bit of an awakening, a little bit of an of, uh, enlightenment, or is gaining some sort of enlightenment, because the hanged man, or as it's called in this deck, the hanged one, is all about perception, is all about pe being in a precarious position in order to see something differently. And, um, the hanged man can definitely talk about a spiritual awakening, okay? So I really feel like that's that's what's happening here. I wanna clarify some more. I am feeling a bit of a, a you versus them energy, a little bit. But then, like yesterday, it can be all one person or it can be two separate people. One person being this top row here, the second person being this bottom row here. But at the same time, I also feel like this is all the same energy for one person as well, okay? I'm going to clarify a little bit more, and then I'm going to reshuffle and do a second pull um, and see what else we get. Because, you know, this is the weekend edition. We're covering messages for three days here. Um, so I just want and I can't pick out specifically what I want to clarify it from this row. I just want to clarify this row here. So the Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords, Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Let's just see what we get here, guys. Clarification, please. King of Wands. Ooh. 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 The High Priestess in Reverse. Aha. Okay. All right, cool. This is exactly what I thought it was. Underneath the deck, we have Justice. There is, an there is enlightenment here. There is a spiritual awakening that's happening, okay? Um, we have the High Priestess, which is in reverse. So there are secrets, there are things that are being revealed here, okay? Um, someone is slowly awakening to the truth of reality, in a sense. Okay, we have the King of Wands. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm laughing because as I was picking up the... the as I was picking up this card, I heard someone is sprung. <laughs> Excuse me, with the King of Wands. Someone, okay, but this is this is someone that's really in control of their life, or at least is in the process of taking control, taking back control of their life. And that did fall on the Ten of Swords. So I feel like with between the Hanged Man, Temperance, and Justice, and also with the High Priestess in Reverse, Someone is starting to see the truth behind some elements of reality. What I'm also getting is someone is is seeing the truth behind the institution, okay, with the Hierophant, um, but also behind the social structure, the hypocrisy that kind of lives behind, it is hidden in the background. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at this here. We've got counterparts, guys. We've got the King and the Queen of Wands here, but we have the Queen of Wands with the Seven of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Cups again. Um, this is a recurring thing. You know, the cards like to clarify themselves with themselves. <laughs> this has been happening consistently over all week. It's, <clears throat> it's not a fluke, guys. You can't make this stuff up. Um, 
Okay. It's really interesting that this has fallen out this way. So with the King of Wands, the Ten of Swords is clarifying is clarified by the King of Wands. Okay, so somebody went through an ending, is going through an ending, okay? Um, and there's another person here with the Queen of Wands. The Five of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Wands. I feel like the Queen of Wands here is either in conflict or is the one that there's conflict surrounding but it's not conflict of their making i feel like this is conflict surrounding who this person is and it's not that this person is a bad person it's just that they're very different and there's a lot of differing opinions about them and how they live their life with the five of wands and <laughs> oh my goodness this is really interesting this is like this feels like a, a telenovela or like some sort of like um soap opera <laughs> okay um now keep in mind this doesn't have to this is not gender specific but someone you know there's one individual and actually this really could be you it doesn't have to be two two different people it could be one person okay because we have both masculine and feminine energies here but we all have masculine and feminine energies within and this is exactly what I was saying here with the Two of Pentacles. Um, and this the Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Cups here. So someone's trying to juggle. Someone's and there's there's like and I'm hearing differing opinions. Um, there's a lot of illusion. There's a lot of confusion here. And someone might be just trying to like escape the situation by immersing themselves in the everyday juggle of their lives. But with the High Priestess in reverse here, there is definitely some, something is, there are downloads, okay? The, 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 the High Priestess in reverse talks about secrets being revealed, but also downloads from the universe. So again, there's definitely an energy of someone going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Um, there, it might feel like a dark night of the soul um, with the Ten of Swords here, but I really feel like the Ten of Swords energy is from the past. It's in the past, okay? So someone may have gone through a dark night of the soul recently and now is, is emerging, is emerging as this King of Wands, okay? And this really could be one person, all right? This could be you, okay? Because if you have emerged from this dark night of the soul, I feel like some of you have this greater balance of King and Queen energy, of masculine and feminine energy. But also you have counterparts here and we're talking we're talking two of, two of cups all right so there's definitely a soulmate relationship potentially um, there's someone you could be potentially connecting with someone this could also this doesn't have to be about a relationship this could just be you and it's it, it's very interesting because you know as we're all going through this awakening process um, you know, we're, we're all kind of going through these dark nights of the soul. I mean, I could say that this last two weeks was kind of like a dark night of the soul situation for me because I was doing a lot of purging. A lot of you were talking about how you're doing a lot of purging too, um, purging a lot of things that you thought you had released and now they're just coming back up um, for, for a second, third, maybe even the fourth round. <laughs> um, but you know, as we re as we emerge from these these situations where we're purging a lot, we're in, and all that stuff, we are coming into greater balance. And this is especially for those of us that are connecting with the twin flame situation. The twin flame situation is all about union within. You know, somebody left a comment. Um, I think it was yesterday about how you know twin flame timelines are collapsing, and it's really it's so funny. I, I, because I was just about to say, really, um, it's no longer about, you know, union externally with another person. It's more about union within. But then a part of me, in, as I was saying that, said, as if it ever was, meaning as if it was ever was about union on the external. I mean, that, again, that's a five of wands situation, whether or not, you know, the twin flame journey is about, was really ever about union externally you know with with this other person for most of us many of us if not all um even though there are a lot of people out there there are even people out on youtube that are you know in union and i'm not trying to say that those of you that are on the twin flame journey that have reached union are wrong or whatever but so that was probably just my ego speaking but at the same time for a lot of us it i don't think it ever really was about union and externally it was really it was 
and that's so it's so crazy. I was talking to a good friend of mine about it last night, and we were sharing our opinions on the situation. And um, we both had come to independently. We had both come to an understanding that it was more about a catalyzation towards this union of masculine and feminine within. Okay, and it's so, wow. It's so funny. I didn't even realize this, but often for me. The symbols of the divine feminine and the divine masculine in the minor arcana, the twin flames, the symbols of the twin flames is the king and the queen of wands. Okay, so um, like I was saying, this could either be you personally, you have come to this greater balance within um, and now you're very passionate, you're very driven. This could really be where this yellow energy com is coming from, the solar plexus, the drive. Um, it's about the balance of a masculine and feminine within here. And then you have the, this is a union card. For me, this card, the Two of Cups, has been talking about union within for the longest time. Um, and it's because of this union within that you now might have this sort of energy of wanting to communicate. So many of you may be wanting to be some sort of public speaker. Um, but also there is a heavy... There's a heavy relationship vibe here, don't get me wrong, but this, again, this could be the relationship within you. And so you could be in your emergence from the dark night of the soul situation, from this last round of purging, you could be bringing this new light to, to the world, to your surroundings, that's just like, who the fuck is this <laughs> with the five of wands? People might be really up in arms about it. People might just don't, may really not, just really not know what to do with it. And so, um, and so that would be why they fall back on what they know on the status quo here with the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Pentacles in reverse um, talking about not really giving, not reciprocating, not really wanting to engage in the situation. And that kind of feels fearful in a sense because, you know, people are, 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 are falling back on the status quo on what they know, their comfort zone in a sense. With all that said, we have justice on the bottom of the clarifying deck, okay? So my advice, my advice is to temper, temper yourself with temperance, just chill, okay? And fall back a little bit. Take this balance of masculine and feminine energy that you have found. Let the king of wands, let the, let the queen of wands take the lead here. Okay, the Queen of Wands is one that just falls back, lets things happen, lets things gravitate towards her. She's very much the energy of the smoldering fire, whereas the the King of Wands is the blazing fire, is the action-oriented one, is the one that's really going for something, doing what it is you want it, you, you need to do. Um, the King of Wands to me symbolizes Aries, whereas the Queen of Wands symbolizes Leo. And it's so funny because my sun sign in Eastern astrology, and I really I really have been connecting way more with sidereal um, Eastern astrology instead of tropical or Western. Um, but in Eastern, my sun sign is Aries, um, but then my rising sign is Leo. And uh, as I've come to understand it, you know, your rising sign is what is the lessons that you're truly like the, the the core lessons that you're truly meant to learn here. And for me, being an Aries sun, being so action oriented, my truest lesson, one of the hardest lessons for me to learn in this lifetime is to fall back and let things happen. I do have obviously you have to take action to, to a certain extent, but I don't have to take so much action all the time. Um, so this is definitely this definitely could be and my ear just started ringing. This definitely could be a big message for myself even, but speaking from this point of view and seeing what's going on here, I would say my advice was fall back for a second. Let the Queen of Wands take the lead and let let things just gravitate towards you. Let things just play out. Be the smoldering fire. Instead of the blazing fire, be the smoldering fire. Don't lose any of your, any of your passion or anything. Just, I'm hearing let things happen as they will. Because like I said, there are secrets being revealed here, or there, there, there is an understanding coming through. There's a dark night of the soul. Possibly someone is emerging from a dark night of the soul with the high priestess in reverse, or there are downloads from the universe. Okay, I hear. I'm hearing someone is reacclimating. Someone is retuning. Someone could be de redefining their existence, oh, and also with justice. And the nine of cups came out twice. All right. So ultimately, I really feel like 
there's some sort of wish fulfillment that's happening, but you need to be patient, okay? And I know King and Queen of Wands energy is really not that patient. I would say the Queen of Wands is the most patient of the King, the Queen, the Page, or the Knight. But even still, I mean, she has her limits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so I just want to get one more pull here. Give me a second. Let me just reshuffle. Let's see what other messages Spirit has for us for our weekend edition. Woo! Okay. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Ah, look. Look, guys, the Queen of Pentacles and Temperance. And Temperance just came out again. And look, the High Priestess is on the bottom of the deck. There are secrets happening here. Um, the Queen of Pentacles. Huh, that's really interesting. For some of you that are trying, that, that you know, that want to get married, that want to, that want to, um, you know, start a life, have a, a, a you know, have a family, um, it's coming. The universe was saying with that message, with the Queen of Pentacles and Temperance, maintain, stay in your nurturing element. And that, that was just another, another, um, confirmation that it's kind of time to just fall back a little bit, you know, remain in your nurturing energy, your loving, caring energy. But also the queen of pentacles to me is very much like the queen of swords. Okay. Um, and the king of swords did come out as one of the clarifying elements um but to me like the queen of pentacles is very logical but she's not as she's she's way more compassionate she has more emotional investment emotional involvement than the queen of swords the queen of swords is just straight up detached and aloof a lot of the time um doesn't really have time for the emotions it's just strictly facts um but with temperance and the queen of pentacles Stay in your nurturing aspect is what the universe is saying and allow things to just be tempered. Stay, remain patient because the queen of pentacles is very patient. She's very, very patient, very steady, very grounded, very stable. Okay. Let's see what else we have for our weekend edition here. Just one last quick pull so far. We've got judgment. Okay. See, so yeah, there is definitely a spiritual awakening happening this weekend or just coming up. Um, King of Pentacles. Look at that, guys. King of Pentacles. Someone is really awakening here. Um, so we have another, we have another depiction of the counterpart. Um, yeah, we have another depiction of the counterparts here. Because the Queen of Pentacles just came out. Now we've got the King of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Temperance again. Look at this, guys. All right. I think we're good here. Underneath, wow, look, all right, similar messages, the Two of Pentacles, okay? Two of Pentacles is underneath the deck. We've got the King of Pentacles, we've got the Page of Wands, we've got Temperance again, and then we've got the Seven of Cups again, all right? So, <clears throat> I'm going to do it this way. This is how this is looking. So, we could be talking, now this could be you, or this could be another person that you're connecting with. Um, but this is definitely an energy of one person, okay? But someone is really, someone is waking up here. Someone is going through a serious awakening. And someone is coming, and this awakening is bringing them into their king of pentacles status. This is stable. Uh, loyalty is the key word here in this deck. Um, this is also, this card in this deck symbolizes Taurus. Um, but this is steadfast, grounded, stable, materially secure, financially secure. This is just, this just feels like someone coming into their own, into the, in the physical reality. Okay. And judgment here is like the rebirth. Uh, Literally, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a rebirth. Um, it can talk about reconciliation. Um, second chances. I just heard a second chance at love. Someone might be going through a situation where they are, um, 
you may they may have come out you may have recently you or they have may have recently come out of a relationship um, and now you know you're going through this transformation <laughs> definitely you're going through this transformation that is ultimately bringing you a second chance at love okay and then here we have the page of wands the key word here is venture um, to me, the page of wands is about um, self-identity, re-identifying yourself, maybe even redefining yourself, um, learning new, learning more about yourself, seeing yourself in a different way, um, self-exploration, um, which has all just been a bunch of different ways to say basically the same thing, but um, inspiration also, starting a new journey, starting a new project. Um, and I really feel like this project could be you. This could be this new drive that I was seeing in your career situation um, with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. If you remember in the beginning of the reading, I was saying I was seeing yellow and it was really like all up in my face. Um, someone is really driven. Someone is really going for what they want in life. <clears throat> um, Temperance is, is here again. And the Seven of Cups is here. Now... The Seven of Cups, the key word here is delusions, okay? And what I'm getting with this is a lot of the status quo energy that came out with the Hierophant. The Hierophant um, also talks about Taurus, so you could be connecting with a Taurus here. But um, someone might be deluding themselves by listening to society, by leaning on um, the status quo, uh, staying in their comfort zone, I'm hearing "Girl of the Year" again. That song that I that I mentioned yesterday, which to me is that song really does talk about another element to the status quo. You know what I mean? Just going along with things. And one of the lyrics she says, I believe it's in the second verse, right before the second um, pre-chorus and all that. But she says, "I knew exactly what I was getting into." Well, basically, she knew what she was getting into the moment that they met. <clears throat> Um, and in that case, it's like, well, if it's just the same old, same old, why are you still doing it? You know what I mean? If it, if, especially if, you know, going through this dark night of the soul, going through this re rebirth and awakening, it's like, well, you're changing, you're becoming a new person. So why would you want to stick with the status quo? Why would you want to continue doing the same things over and over? Um, Especially with the King and the Queen of Wands that came out in the last round, you know, there's a redefinement, there's a brand new light within you. And so why would you want to stick with the status quo? That's my question. <laughs> and then underneath the deck, you have the Two of Pentacles here. So someone is really just trying to keep it together right now with the Two of Pentacles underneath the deck because of this transformation. Um... Yeah, almost. It's almost an energy of trying to save face, a little. Um, I want to clarify. We're gonna start with. The King of Pentacles and Judgment. I just heard Dark Knight of the Soul again. Okay. But you know, even if, if someone is going through this, you may not know it. No, may not know it at all. Okay, Taurus energy is very much um, because this card in this deck symbolizes Taurus. Tauruses often don't really let on that something's going on, that something's wrong. Um, they offer, they often suffer in silence. So I'm getting an energy of someone might might be suffering in silence right now. Might be really going through a strong transformation and really not talking about it. King of Pentacles, contact King of Pentacles on Judgment, please. We've got, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles here. Uh, let's do one more. So there's a lot of work going on. All right. Ooh, whoa. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles came out again, and that came out in the reverse this time. And here, underneath the deck, we have the Four of Cups. Okay. Um, unrequited love? Probably. Um, yeah, there is a major change happening here for someone, guys. Um, and it's, oh, it's like someone is trying to offer 
is trying to come in and offer something to another person, but they're really unrequited love. They're really just not trying to hear that right now. Um, they're so wrapped up in what's going on with them and what's going on in their physical reality, um, in their every day to every day day to day lives, in their career that they it's like they just they, their opinion of it is that they just don't have the time for this and. They, that's I almost like it feels kind of heartbreaking like I'm kind of getting a little choked up in this because the person that's re that's like not really responding not really taking some sort of offer that's coming through is really just wrapped up in their work with the eight of pentacles here and with the queen of pentacles it's like they're, they're, they're we have again we have counterparts so I don't want to say that it's not that, that that you know you guys don't have or there isn't a connection here there definitely is a connection However, someone's just not ready for this. Someone is just, I heard fear. Someone is really wrapped up in fear surrounding whatever connection this is. But there's, a, there's an awakening happening here, okay? And anything that's not happening right now, anything that's not coming forward, the universe is saying this, trust us, this is for your highest good right now, okay? You need to just let this fear subside. Move on with your with your life. Um, I'm not saying to completely like for like cut this person out or if you're you know cut whoever you're connecting with out, but continue to focus on you. Um, do what it is you need to do. I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles here. There could be a mother in this situation that's kind of putting the kibosh on things. She may not be actively doing it, but again, it's an energy of what would my mother think? That's for a select few. All right. Yeah, and even if, and even look at this stance here. I just realized this. Look at the stance of this, this, this girl in this card. She looks very closed off with her arms closed, with her arms, um, crossed and wow I'm looking at the symbolism here and in her right hand you only see one of her fingers okay um, the rest are hidden whereas in your in her left hand all of her fingers are exposed so she's not she's hiding something in a sense she's not there's something else going on in the background here where she's just she's high she's like keeping something to herself Hmm. Okay, I want to clarify the Page of Wands now, please. Ooh, all right. Well, we've got the Chariot, and we've got the Page of Cups. Underneath the deck is the Knight of Cups. Well, gee, <laughs> that's a little interesting. Um... All right, so what the universe is saying here, there is a period of expansion that's going on. Someone is really redefining themselves. Uh, you could be dealing with a cancer. Um, the chariot symbolizes cancer. You could also be dealing with, you could deal with, be dealing with any water sign, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. The page of cups, or at least in this deck, it's called the, the princess of cups. To me, this is the dreamer, okay? Um, this could be an apology. Um, but I'm getting an energy of someone is really, again, someone's trying to offer something to someone else. Someone kind of wants to move pretty quickly, but doesn't need to. Um, yeah, the main message here is someone is trying, is just redefining themselves. They've come out of the, someone has come out of a long period of a certain situation and now they need some time to like <laughs> get their shit together. I don't know. And it's not even like they don't have it together. It's just like they, they want more time to themselves, which is not something that you would think of when you see the chariot here, but that's just what I'm channeling right now with this. There's going to be movement eventually, but it's over a period of time. And 
oh, this is why I'm getting this, because the chariot is about knowing what you want and going for it, um, being emotionally balanced and going after what it is you truly desire. But that's happening over a period of time because we have the Page of Wands here. And to me, the Page of Wands is about um, self-discovery, um, redefining oneself. And so um, someone is taking some time to redefine themselves, get to know themselves a little better, understand themselves on a deeper level, and so that they can eventually move forward with this chariot energy and make some sort of offer, make some sort of invitation, or maybe accept an invitation, okay? With the Knight of Cups. Okay. Finally, I just want to clarify the Seven of Cups here. Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, please. Woo! Oh, yeah. See? All right. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Don't let the confusion stop you from investing, from thinking long term. If you're going through a situation right now where things just feel up in the air, things are not too clear, don't let that keep you from continuing the investment, all right? from continuing to think long term. Like don't just think so short term, especially with if you're connecting with, so like if we're talking about a relationship here, if we're talking about love, um, if you're connecting with someone like a soulmate or whatever, and things just don't seem to be going your way, things are just really confusing, you're, you're, you're just not clear on what the situation is. Venus is in retrograde, guys. Um, so this really is not the time to be making a decision when it comes to relationships, okay? If you are in a relationship with someone and things are just rocky, you don't know where things are going, blah, blah, blah. Again, this is not the time really to be making major decisions, okay? So with the Seven of Cups here, we've got the, the, the Magician, the Empress, which again is talking about Venus in retrograde. We have the Three of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Five of Wands, okay? So what I'm getting here is... First, and this is this is why there's so much confusion here with the Seven of Cups, because with um, the, the Magician and the Empress, um, this is a really fertile time to help manifest what it is you truly desire out of a relationship, okay? So use this time wisely. Don't move too quickly. Don't try and make major decisions when it comes to a relationship right now. This is just not the time for it. This right now, what the universe is saying is this is a time to cultivate the energies, to understand and redefine what it is you truly want out of a relationship, a relationship here. Because, you know, key word in this deck for the Seven of Cups is delusions. There could be a bunch of stuff around you that you may have said to yourself or you may have believed at one time that you wanted, but at this point, it's not the same. It doesn't feel the same for you anymore. It's not something that you, it's not something that's fulfilling you, but you might still be like, oh, but this is what I wanted at one time, but don't delude yourself. If it doesn't work for you anymore, it doesn't work for you anymore, okay? But again, don't make any major decisions right now. Use this time, this time period, this fertile energy to manifest, to, to really draw in what it is you truly desire, okay? And, okay, look, see, we've got the Five of Wands again. Um, but what I want to talk about first is this, the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands. This, to me, is learning through contrast, is manifesting through contrast. With the Three of Swords here, this is about understanding what it is you, what has hurt you, looking back on the past, or even, the, the like, what's happening right now, what's breaking your heart right now. Um, if anything, or what has broken your heart in the past, you could have been coming out, you could be coming out of a relationship right now, um, in the process of leaving an old, uh, closing out an old chapter, an old relationship. And with the Ace of Wands here, you could really be manifesting a new one. You could really be passionate and driven in a brand new direction, um, which could be taking you far, far away from whatever this Three of Swords here is. Um, quite quickly, especially because we have the chariot on the board here, but um, learning through contrast is the biggest question, is the biggest thing that's coming through with this right now, okay? Um, and then here, we have the five of wands, again. So this is the peanut gallery. This is the differing opinions. This is the too many, this is too many cooks in the kitchen. This is inner conflict. Um, 
This is also, this is restlessness. I'm getting an energy of someone just feels super restless right now. And maybe doesn't want to settle down at the moment. You know, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And what I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is that the Queen of Pentacles is someone that's, you know, nurturing and caring and loving. Um, but this counterpart, this King of Pentacles, is not in alignment with her right now. I really feel like the King of Pentacles is in this energy here with the Magician, High Priest, I'm sorry, the Magician, the, the Empress, Three of Swords, Ace of Wands, Five of Wands. Okay, the, the, the King of Pentacles could be the one that's coming out of this past relationship. It, and it really probably was, it might have been pretty heartbreaking. Okay. But there's inspiration there's a new drive for life with the ace of wands here and it's coming through this self-identification this rediscovery with the page of wands okay and then ultimately you have temperance in the middle of the deck honestly there really is no need to clarify this one we know what this means balance patience the universe is working things out on your behalf for your highest good so whether we're talking about someone that you're connecting with or we're talking about you here. Because keep because this is a general reading, okay? Balance is coming in. And with the Nine of Cups that came out twice in the first half of the reading, um, there really is wish fulfillment that's coming in here. It could be, it could be with this person that you have been connecting with, you thought you were connecting with. It could be. But it also could. The universe could surprise you and it could be someone brand new that you didn't even expect. Okay, I'm just throwing that out there. But then at the same time, you do have judgment here. Okay, so judgment could, it can talk about reconciliation. So you could eventually reconcile with this person when like the dust settles a little bit. Okay, and then the Ten of Pentacles here underneath the deck, which is clarifying this side here with the Seven of Cups. Um... This is saying that all is work is going to work out in the end, in the long term, okay? There is a lot of energy that's being cleared away, that's being redefined, re-acclimated. Um, and in the long term, you know, you do have a representation of a family. And you do have the counterparts here. This is the second time the counterparts have come out, all right? You had the King and the Queen of Wands beforehand, and now you have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. There is a family aspect. There is a family situation that is coming into alignment here. All right. <laughs> okay, cool. I think we're good there. Let's get into the Oracle messages. So we're starting with the Whispers of Love. Oh, someone could be getting pregnant with the Ace of Wands, the Magician, and the Empress. Interesting. This is actually kind of mirroring a message that Aluna Ash put out yesterday about someone getting pregnant and not necessarily being so enthusiastic about it. I want. I do want to. I do want to say that she did mention in that reading that this would be something that you you would know. Okay, so if you don't, if like you're connecting with someone and you were suspicious about whether or not to some, you know, someone got pregnant, don't don't create a situation. Um, this would be for someone that knows about it already. Interesting. Okay, moving on. Here we go. Best messages from the Whispers of Love. Yeah, someone is definitely going through an awakening, guys, with judgment. So just be patient with yourself, with others. Best messages for the weekend, weekend edition, November 2nd through the 4th. Romance. Okay. Ah, 
All right. Underneath the deck, you have card number 49. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. And what this is really saying to me right now is you don't necessarily have to do anything other than just persevere. Remain consistent. Okay? And that's actually, and that's literally, uh, hello, that's literally what this card talks about here. The Ten of Pentacles. This is investment in the long term. This is like the long run. All right? Over time. Consistency. You have romance. Card number 25. Lavish the one that you love with your personal affection and attention. Or attention and affection, whatever. But, and so that definitely goes with this message of actions speak loudly. Okay? I, I'm really t I really want to tell some people not to get... Oh, no. There goes one of my stones. Anyway, <clears throat> I really want to tell somebody not to give up. Please do not give up is what I'm hearing. Please don't give up on me. I'm just not ready yet. That's literally what I just heard. I don't know who that's for, but there's that. <laughs> um, and now, and also you have card number three. Your current situ uh, uh, back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. That's literally, you guys, that's literally <laughs> what I've been saying throughout this whole reading, okay? So if there is a blockage, if there's stagnancy, the universe is saying this is happening for a very good reason. Learn through the contrast. Use this time to redefine what it is you truly desire out of your life in general um, or love, okay, in a relationship. Whether you're in a relationship with someone already or you have just come out of a relationship or you're trying to manifest um, a partnership, okay? Use this time, use your past, use your past experiences, whatever this Three of Swords is for you. Use that to rediscover yourself, to learn about what it is you truly desire, okay? Wow, that's awesome. All right, so now let's close the reading with a Oracle card from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. So check it out. Um, what I do want to say is this doesn't have to be about love, okay? We do have cups on the table, but cups could also talk about, uh, we could be talking about business. Obviously, we have pentacles here. Um, but the cups is not just all, always about love. It's also about um, emotional fulfillment. And that could definitely be work, okay? I just wanted to point that out there for some people. But it's like, what is emotionally fulfilling for you? Now, granted, we are getting, there is a lot of, there's love coming out here, obviously. Um, this is, you know, we've got counterparts twice here. We have the King and Queen of Wands, and now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. But again, you could be talking about business. So, all right, cool. Closing message. For your weekend edition, closing message for your weekend edition. Woo! That's too many. Okay, closing message. There we go. Woo! There's two of them. All right. So underneath the deck, you have already there is value, and this card talks about um, you know as you're manifesting, you could be you could manifest something new, but also there could be something in your life that already exists that has value that you can, that can be brought into the situation. Okay. So again, this is an energy of looking at your life and redefining yourself, redefining what it is you have in your life and letting, and, and, you know, allowing that to bring value to your life. Okay. We have card number six, a, uh, angel Amitiel and blue obsidian revelation. So to me, this is talking about <clears throat> um, the the dark night of the soul and the subsequent rebirth that would come from that. And we also have whew, Ascended Master Merlin and Mystic Merlinite. Read 
of the energy. Okay. So, let's start with card number six. Oops. All right. We bring you the gift of revelation. There are times when not knowing is helpful. During such times, you develop unconditional trust in the universe. That trust will then support you in living your life according to your personal truths. You need a lot of trust in yourself and in life to live with such courage. Not knowing the bigger picture can help you stay focused on what you need to know right now. Rather than getting so excited about the future, you become distracted from the work that needs to be accomplished in the present moment, unwittingly slowing down your progress and delaying the very future you want to draw closer to you. However, there are other times when it is more helpful to know, to understand, to see. A particular truth will help you gain perspective, let go of the past, heal a wound, and feel safer, feel more loved, more empowered, and ready for the next step on your life journey. This is one of those times. We bring you the helpful gift of revelation now because you are ready to know a deeper truth. And a lot of and, and for most of us, I really feel like this deeper truth is within our own selves. Let me see here. That's no, that's it. Okay, we're good on that one. Let's move on to the final one, 30 card number 34. Right, read the energy. We bring you the blessing of reading the energy. We affirm that you have the ability to read energy accurately, and we encourage you to apply your gifts. You don't have to be in control of in of the inflow of divine information. When a, oh my gosh, I'll, I'm laughing. I'll tell you guys why I'm laughing in a second. When a message or insight comes to you naturally, this is best. Simply being open and receptive as you intend to read the energy of the person, place, or situation at hand is enough. Whether you have been reading energetically for years or are just beginning your journey in interpreting energetic information, we are here to assist you in becoming confident and trusting in your perceptive abilities. Okay, the reason why I'm laughing is because I have been going through a period recently where, um, you know, spirit will just come through and just tell me things. Uh, <laughs> and they'll especially tell me things about people that I'm connecting with. Um, and... I've been kind of battling, I've been kind of struggling with that because it's like, I don't want them to tell me all these things because I just, I would just rather not know. But at the same time, I actually just came, I think it was just yesterday when I came to the realization enough to like repeat it to someone, that a good friend of mine that I was talking to, but I was saying, you know, I, I was, I explained to them, I've been going through this period where it was like, I wish... I wish I could turn this off. I wish I could turn this connection off and they, could, they would just like stop talking to me or stop telling me things. But then I came to the realization that um, it's it's more of like a, a training thing almost. It's like, okay, well, yeah, they're going to tell me these things. That's great. I do kind of want to know. Personally, I do want to know and that's really why they're telling me. But the thing about it is I wasn't asking for it at that moment when the message came through. So instead of getting all huffy about it and be like, man, stop telling me these things. I don't want to know. It's building expectation. Well, Eric, don't allow it to build expectation. Just say, okay, thanks, and move forward. Change your focus. Instead of taking that information and then folk and then honing in on it and being like, okay, let's do something about this. Aries. <laughs> Aries instead of saying okay well okay well that's great thank you for telling me so let's what's the action can we take some action now let's take some action it's like no no chill out for a second just just take the message and move forward you know change your focus you don't have to get all wrapped up in it and so that's why I was laughing when I was reading that card because that literally is a a message directly for me and many of us too because there are a lot of us that go through that um, that just get these messages about things and then we allow it to build expectation instead of just saying okay great thank you for the information and moving forward because in all honesty when these things happen it's really just a con and this this just came through to me it's really just a confirmation that you're in the right position you're on the right path you're going in the right direction just keep moving at that pace in that direction, and you'll be fine. Everything is working out, okay? Let's see what else we've got here. This oracle comes to you with a message that your perceptive abilities are a key part of your life purpose and divine life's work. 
developing, relying upon, or honoring what you sense energetically is helpful for your life journey as it assists you in making good choices and is helpful for others who can benefit from your ability to see what they may not as yet be able to consciously recognize. When you share your perception from a place of unconditional love, non-judgment, and genuine compassion, your reflections can help others gain awareness and insight, which they can then use to empower themselves, overcome fear, and move more wholly into love. This is of benefit to all. Um, yeah. Okay, I actually do want to read this other par paragraph. Although you may feel you want a conclusive answer to a larger issue, all you really need to know is what to do next. By tuning into your feelings and trusting, you can sense the next steps that feel best for you. As you continue to work in that way, tuning in to what feels best, taking a step, then tuning in again, proceeding one step at a time in trust, you don't need a blinding vision of truth to proceed. You are already proceeding. In this way, you allow yourself to be guided by that energy. Even in a situation that seems very confusing, you can move one step at a time towards the resolution. You don't have to see how each step is going to add up to the final resolution. You just need to take each step. And I swear, guys, that that I'm really resonating with that right now because it's like, you know, they say one thing, but it looks different in the physical um, and then I'm guided to take a step and I take that step and it doesn't seem to work out the way I want it to. But at the same time, I'm not seeing the full situation in that moment. So it's really just about trusting, trusting your intuition, trusting the messages that come through, trusting your guidance and your team to that. They're leading you in the direct direction that you are moving in the direct direction. Okay. Wow. That was a deep message. It was a good message. Um, there you have it, guys. There is your weekend edition. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much love to you all. I wish you all a very safe and happy weekend. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you again for on Sunday because I have we're doing the um, the Twin Flame weekly conversation Sunday, two p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then. We get right back into the swing of things with morning coffee on Monday. Yeah, much love to you all. Take care. Mwah! Bye.